Hello and welcome to another Gas Walkthrough with me, Bill Murphy. Uh, gas standing for Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, which is what we do every day. Um, this puzzle, February 23, 2024's Min Max Arrows by Clover, uh, is today's puzzle. Uh, Philip Newman is also around. He also so solves and sets puzzles from time to time. Uh, so, this puzzle is Clover's. It's in the link below if you want to give it a go before I do it. Um, but here it is, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So by that, the digits, uh, one to nine must be in each box, bro, and column once each. Now, uh, this also has a thing, which is the digits along an, uh, on an arrow must be greater than all of the digits along that diagonal that the arrow points to. So, uh, this three means that I can never have a digit bigger than three along this diagonal. Um, that's it. Feel free to give it a go. Links in the description. Now, before I solve this, I'll tell you, every now and then Clover uh, builds up a backlog, backlog of puzzles on stream um, and does puzzles, uh, you know, uh, she sets them live, and, uh, occasionally, because, you know, I'm a friend, I tune in to support her, uh, and then also I set the same variant that she does faster than she does, um, because I watch her make all the mistakes and go, oh, that's a cool idea, I'm going to steal that. So, um, how today's puzzle worked, uh, was I have set this puzzle using the opening strategy slash gambit slash break in that she did. Um, but I haven't solved her version of this. So this is almost a blind solve, but I'm a little bit aware of what this puzzle is doing. So let's look at this. So three along this diagonal and three along this diagonal means we can never put a digit bigger than uh, three on those diagonals. So that gives us a bunch of digits right off the bat. All of those via Sudoku. Now, uh, we can do this diagonal, because this diagonal means that nothing along this diagonal can be greater than three, uh, four. So all of those have to be three, because each of those souls sees a one and a two. Feel free to convince yourself of that. Now, let's have a look at this diagonal. Uh, so, this needs to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Every one of those, except those, that digit, sees 1, 2, 3, and this uh, sees 1, 2, and 4, so that has to be 3. Now, uh, this digit in this cell needs to be larger than 8, so that must be 9. This digit needs to be larger than 7, but it can't be 9, so it has to be 8. Uh, this digit, oh, I can't quite do that one just yet. Uh, okay, this digit needs to be greater than 6, but it can't be 8, so it's either 7 or 9, and this one has to be 6, 7, or 8. That's most of our work done. Let's do some actual Sudoku now. All right, where do I put 1 in box 3? Got to go there. Uh, where do I put 1 in box 7? Needs to go there. Putting 1 in there, and that gives us all the ones. Two, all right. Uh, two goes up there in box three, putting two down here and two over here. So that's all the twos. Threes, all right, three. Three going there, three going there. And that's all the threes. Uh, fours and up are gonna be a little bit harder. That's fine, I don't mind it. Um, Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, that's nice. So, take that out of there. Uh, so this is a five, six pair. Now, uh, what is? Oh, no, I can still put four there. Um, uh, this is five and eight. So if I can't put a 5 there, or a 6 there, that means that has to be a 9. 5, 8 pair rules it out of that cell, and a 6 there. So this is now 4 and 7. Um, oh, 
Uh, this is five and six. What else have we got? I don't mind doing a blind solve every now and then. I just don't want to make a habit of it. Ah, uh, five in those cells means that this has to be six. Five and six. Uh, four, five, and seven are placed in there. Hmm, not quite. Uh, this has to be larger than six, but I knew that already. Uh, oh, this is five, eight, and nine. That can't be five, and this must be eight. Why is this eight? Well, if I put that nine, then what's that to do it? Uh, because I can't put a ten in a Sudoku, that must be eight. Taking eight out of those cells, making this nine. And that is nearly all of the classic Sudoku done in this puzzle. So this is five and eight. Uh, five, eight pair rules five out of this cell. Four, seven. Six, eight, nine. Uh, where does four go? Four must go there. Take the eight, the nine out of there. Um, <laughs> four, six. Can't quite do that yet. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, what's this cell? So, I know that it has to be. Uh, it has to be greater than four, but less than seven. Um, so it can either be four or six. Uh, oh, nah, that, that, that didn't do anything, but I got excited. You know, uh, sometimes holding on to your dreams. Okay, where does four going, uh, row three, four, six, nine... Take six out of there. Uh, this is four and nine. Uh, uh, five in column two. Uh, seven there. Nine there. Eight, seven, eight, six, eight. Uh, seven, six, four, and we are nearly done. Uh, just finishing the puzzle off now. Uh, now, the real question is, not to uh, talk trash, but I think my puzzle's a little nicer than this one. Sorry, Clover. Hate to do it to you. Um, but, you know, I will let Clover have her moment of glory, and I'll just stick my puzzle in Gas Leak or something. Um, if you like what's Gas Leak, you can find that on our website, which you can find in the description. This has been Min Max Arrows by Clover. I'm still Bill, last time I checked. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the puzzle. Uh, feel free to drop a like, comment, share, you know, uh, or follow us on Patreon. You know, money. We love money. Buys goods and services. Anyway, have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, or night, wherever you are, whatever your time zone is. Um, and I will catch you on the flip side. Cheers.